All right, so welcome back to Tales of Crystoria. So let's keep doing that side quest for um, Crest. I'm actually really enjoying that side story, so I want to see what else we have here. I don't know how long this side story or this side chapter is, but I am curious. There was a plague several years ago and Emil got very sick. He was unconscious and on the brink of death when a traveling mage said that he could cure him. Emil's parents were so relieved they let the mage take Emil away. I came into being already inside of Emil. I was in a cage in some weird facility controlling Emil's body. A human observing me said, Happy birthday, you are a very special creature. We didn't realize it at the time, but... They were researching the transfer of human souls into monster bodies. So that means I... Yep, they probably implanted your soul directly into the body of the Beast of the Woods. Same basic story. You said you would severely wounded the thing, right? This Cody guy probably dragged its body back to the lab, too. That's the way their experiments usually went. Emil seems to have been a special case. Apparently, he was the best vessel they'd ever seen, so the researchers decided to change up the experiment. Instead of the usual procedure, they tried putting monster souls into Emil's body, and I mean all kinds of different monsters. And that's how I got born inside of him. Ratatosk, a human strom to rule over monster kind. Human strom? That's what the researcher who created me called me. That said, I don't think any of them anticipated that I'd be born out of their monster soul stew. But man, were they happy with the results, and soon they had new ambitions for me. I had other plans. They wanted to make use of my ability to communicate with monsters, but I've never been the type to take orders. So I smashed the whole place up, took all that human strum power they packed into me and shoved them just... and showed them just what it was capable of. Except that you had to overdo it, sent the researchers running like frightened bunnies, and we've had a heck of a time tracking them down again. Ah, oh, stow it. I got out of there, didn't I? Anyway, once I heard the story from Emil, or rather, Ratatosk, I decided to join them on their journey. Then your plan is to find the researchers and have them restore this Emil to full humanity? Are you freaking joking? That'd be the end of me. But that ain't to say I like having to share Emil. This body ain't mine. This existence ain't mine. I may have made myself at home in it, but this body ain't me. Ratatosk. So, I'm gonna make those scientists whip me up a body of my own. Make me the me I'm supposed to be. Create an entirely new body. Is that truly possible? How should I know? If they can move souls around, then why the hell not? That's a bit of a logical leap. Emil told me that he wants to work with Ratatosk on this. He says he hates not having his own body anymore. As for me, I'm eager for Ratatosk to move out so me and Emil can finally do, you know, things. Things? I will do everything I can to help you find the scientist responsible for all of this. I cannot allow him to do to others what he's done to me. You won't be doing anything until we're able to properly heal those wounds. No, I suppose not. I appreciate that, Mr. Mibaru, although I guess that would be the end of my little couple's journey with Emil. And I don't know how I feel about that. What? Did you forget about me? Oh, don't get mad. You know what I meant. Speaking of which, Ratatosk, it would sure be nice to have Emil back for a bit. Sure, and next time, Monster Strike, maybe I'll just stay away and let him eat the lot of you. Emil would never allow that to happen. <laughs> Marta and Ratatosk seem to be quite the cute pair themselves. What's wrong with you? You three get along so well, considering... With teamwork like that, I have every confidence that you will make it through this difficult journey. Yeah, okay, this conversation's over. How about we get moving before the scent of this blood gets us dogpiled by monsters? Fair enough. The cave I mentioned is not far from here. Though, as you point out, we will need to be careful of monsters. Being able to speak allows Ratatosk to coexist peacefully with the others. Perhaps there's hope for Master Mabaru as well. I promise I won't let you die, Master. Cress. Okay. I just don't know if it's up to Crest to keep him alive or not. I don't know. 
Ooh, 78. Wow. There's, there's apparently items you can use that will just awaken without using one of our um, shards or whatever they're called, the fragments, the pentagon things. Like, there's universal ones. I just don't know how you get them. Maybe through events and stuff? I don't know. Problem is, we're not getting a lot of gold from these quests. Like, I figure we should be. I don't know. I can do the gold missions, but they're kind of annoying. And again, we keep trying to bring support characters just because we're trying to get the friendship points. Because there is a weekly for doing some summons, and you get a free 10 times summon a day, but I think I missed out on one. And it's the only thing I think I- well, in food, I have to still cook more stuff too, but we don't have ingredients, so I don't know. I might not get the weekly done and miss out on 100 gleam stones. Okay. So that should be the end of this uh, stage. Oh, and we ranked up again. Nice. And Mila's at level 10 affinity. Which I think gives just player voices, I think. But where max AP is up, friends are up. And she gets, yeah, more voice clips. Okay. Simple honesty. Alright, let's see what happens here. Phew, we've managed to reach the cave safely. How are you feeling, Master? Thank you, Cress. Ugh. Master Mabaru, please lie down and allow us to tend to your wounds. Marta, would you be so kind? Yeah, we've got you. And you, Ratatosk. Oh, sorry, it's Emil now. Ratatosk figured we were safe, so... Oh, hello, Emil. You seem to be every bit as kind in manner as Marta told me you'd be. <laughs> well, Emil, would you be willing to make a fire and boil some water? We need to wash the wound. Yeah, of course. I'll lend a hand. Mint, Marta, please take good care of Master Mabaru. We will. There, your wounds are looking much better. With a bit of rest, I'm confident that you'll recover. Thank you. Nice work, you two. You have my thanks as well. My pleasure, and if you wanted to underline that with, say, a nice monetary bonus, I would be grateful too. Marta? <laughs> Understood. I'll see what I can do. Do you think there's a way for Master Mabaru to return to his human form? I don't know. If his body has been preserved, I would imagine there's still a chance. I see. Once my wounds have healed, I will return to the forest, and while I'm there, I'll look into the monster activity around the village. But why? Shouldn't we inform the villagers first? No, if I enter the village like this, it will only cause a panic. I don't want to do anything to upset the villagers. That village is my life, and yet, somehow, I failed to notice Cody's crimes. And when at last I did, I did not stop them. That is a crime I deserve to answer for. If this body is to be my punishment, then I accept it. But I won't let it change who I am. Even if I'm to spend the rest of my life as a monster, it will be the one fight... It will be one that fights to protect this village. Master Mabaru. Then I will fight at your side. Your desire to protect the village is one I very much share. And on the day the last monster lies slain, you and I will return to the village together. Cress. Oh wait, sorry, Cress. 
They may not accept you at first, but I will convince them. You may look different, but I believe they will come to understand that Master Mubaro remains within. That is very kind of you, Cress. That noise, it's coming from the village. Another monster attack? We have to protect the village, let's... Ugh. Master Mabaru, no. Just because we've treated your wounds, it doesn't mean you're healed. If you try to fight like this, you're going to get killed. For real this time, sit down and rest. But... We will go. Please stay here, Master, and pray for our safety. After me, friends. Right behind you. Hmm... Ah. Ha! Cress! Are you okay? This ain't good, Cress. There's a whole army of monsters incoming. There's no way we can defend this village by ourselves. Damnation! Hmm. Alright. Part 4. Inhuman Bonds. There's a lot of missions in here. At least 10. Alright. Let's start working through them. Sure, we'll bring a Lloyd. Is it just me, or are there more monsters arriving every minute? Crest, you came back for us! Things are bad, Crest. We're surrounded on all sides. Any chance we had to evacuate is gone. Last, what are the rest of the villagers? The women, children, and injured are taking refuge in the town square. The menfolk are defending them there, but I don't know how long they'll hold. It's hopeless. The village is lost. No, you mustn't lose hope. Cress? Master Mubaro has devoted his life to protecting this village. We cannot give up. We must do everything we can to protect it. Any man who is able to fight, take up arms and follow me. We'll work together to defend the village. Right, this village is our home. We can't just lie down and let the monsters take it. Pick up your weapons. Don't back down now. Yes, sir. Hmm, I wonder if uh, Mabaru is going to eventually join in and help. I kind of want a Lloyd. He looks cool. Although our companion Lloyd, not that strong. Alright. <laughs> So I'm assuming we're probably going to have a bunch of battles here with not a lot of story, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. The incoming swarm. We'll bring a Yuri. Wow, Yuri... Ah. Seems like the people we bring in as support are worse than our characters, but they're higher level, so it's kind of confusing. Wow, that was actually a lot of hits, though. Hmm. He might be good for, like, comboing to get a good big hit counter. Bread. Yay, bread. It's gonna cost like 50 AP to get through all these quests. 
Uh, I don't want to bring these. They're not... Eh. Alright, we'll just stick with our team for this one. And also, I think, like, completing the side quests will then unlock the hard versions, and then completing all the hard ones will unlock the very hard versions. It's a lot of monsters we're facing here, though. Alright, quest clear. Alright, here's some story here. The Beast of the Woods. Now it's starting to cost 6 AP a quest. Hmm. Do we want to bring a support character? No, we do not. We get a lot of ingredients from the main rewards for this quest. It's a good way to get cooking stuff. I don't know. Ah! Ah, oof. Press your hurt. First aid. Thank you, Mint. Hey, yeah! Marta, oh, you are dead, you bastard. Thank you. Get it together, Marta. If you die, Emil's never gonna stop blubbering. Right. Damn, they just keep coming. Hey, monsters, what's the big idea? Just what are you after? What? Ratatosk, what are they saying? Some kind of alpha monster is in these woods, and it's drawing them in. It's really got them feeling their oats, too. But that's the beast of the woods, and Master Mabaru is controlling his body. Could be some other alpha getting them all worked up. Huh? Ah. Curses, Ratatosk. We'll continue this later. We need to drive back these monsters first. That doesn't make a lot of sense that there'd be another monster, would it? Hmm. You know, these quests are using quite a bit of AP, but they're not difficult at all. So it's kind of odd. Alright. That's that. Ooh. Kanata leveled up. There's just a lot of, like, story missions to get through, or, like... The regular missions, the hard versions, and then the very hard versions, like, they just, it never ends, really. <laughs> ¶¶ just a better if Cress isn't just slightly stronger. He would have been able to one-shot that monster. Alright, 
Okay. Ooh, up. Nice. And our gold is starting to go up, kind of. But the problem is, I'm like donating 50,000 to my guild every day and items and. Eh. The frenzy of monsters. At least these quests are good for ingredients, I guess. But it's just too bad that they just kind of have wave after wave after wave. They should put a little more story. Actually, one benefit of not having Velvet or Cress in the group is they'll stop saying that line over and over and over and over. <laughs> Ooh, sorry is almost leveled. Alright, here's some more story. I'm assuming there's... Yeah, because it's three stars per mission, and we've done... Uh, six, so there'd be still four more battle missions in this segment here. This is one of the longer ones. A bad feeling. Hmm. Everybody okay? Yeah, everyone managed to flee to the town square. Now if Cress and the others can wipe out those monsters. Neep, a monster! Stay back, don't come any closer! Ah! Gah! Monsters are inside the village, how can this be happening? We just wanted to live our, our lives in peace. Who would do this? Why? Ah! Uh, ah, yeah! What? This is my village. These are my people. I will protect them. Huh? The roar came from inside the town. Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. Press, I got things here. Thank you, Ratatosk. You're a lifesaver. Only because Marta will never forgive me if I let her employer get killed. Now, get moving. Yes, let's hurry to the village. Uh-oh, I don't think this is going to end well for Mabaru. But we'll have to see. Something tells me it's not going to be good for Mabaru. Tokagawa's this is, I think, easily the darkest Tales game that I've played. I mean, Berseria was kind of up there, but this is, I think, surpassed it easily. But... It's just the world is kind of oppressive in this game. I guess because they all have their own little... their own sort of justice. And it doesn't even matter if it's deserved justice or not. They just want to be, see justice be served. See people be condemned. It's kind of... I don't know. Yeah, but these like tons of fights in a row with very little story, not not great. I think they'd be better off removing half of these quests. 
Because they're all just fodder, you just auto battle them anyway. So. There we go, Sori leveled up, he's now 41. Ooh, level 10 affinity with uh, Cress. Which means more voice lines, yep. Alright, I think there's maybe two, no, there'd be two more battles, yeah, so we'll see here. Oh, we're getting there, getting there. I kind of want to put Agus in our party, I just don't know who I'd replace, because I like everybody we have. Except for Stan. I'm not a big oh, fan of Stan. I could replace Stan. I don't know. Okay. So I think there's maybe at most one more battle in this segment. According to the stars. So yeah, this one should be the last battle. Oh, this is locked. I guess we have to take Crest, but we already had a Crest in that spot. That's kind of silly that it's replacing a Crest with a Crest. <laughs> Alright. Damn it, these monsters just don't know when to quit. So uncool. They're fighting without any sense of self-preservation. This is more than just them being drunk off the smell of blood. Master Mabaro sacrificed himself to slay the beast of the woods and protect this village. Yet once the beast was gone, a new monster must have taken control after Mabaro and that beast got dragged off to that lab. Yeah. The new alpha sounds brutal. Got a feeling this is going to get worse before it gets better. Not again. Cress? The day I was felled by the great transgressor, I failed to save my precious disciple. I failed to protect the village. I will not allow that to happen again. Everyone, be careful. I can feel a monster approaching. A powerful one. Oh! Alright. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's the one that's got all these monsters whipped up into this stampede. Watch out, this thing looks pissed. It's coming right for us, Cress. Then come face me, beast. In the name of Master Mabaru, I will defend this village. Cress. Mint, Marta, Ratatosk, lend me your strength. Let us slay this monster. Alright, I'm gonna turn auto off. Alright. Oh wow, he one-shot her. That was not cool. Well, we might as well do our big hits then. No, we're not going to use that ability just yet, because it's probably going to do a powered-up attack now, yep. Okay. And then we'll go here. Um... This isn't going so well. We, we almost broke it, but weren't quite able to. That's okay. We might still win here. Oh, we didn't use ability. Damn it. Okay, that could have been really bad. Okay, so... 
We'll go here. Followed by that. Okay, we still won, but that was could have been much smoother. Yeah, we didn't get the no KO'd allies. He was like one shotting them. <sighs> we did it. We really did it, Cress. The other monsters are breaking. They're running away. That's what happens when the Alpha falls. They're gonna find some place to lick their wounds far, far away from here. Then we've won. Let us hurry to the town square and tell the villagers. And Master Mabaru as well. Bah. Ugh, I do believe that's all of them, and it appears Crest has won his fight as well. Stand down, my friends. The battle is o- hey -ya! Huh? There's one last monster. Kill it. Everyone, kill it! But that one was fighting the other monsters. Who cares? A monster is a monster. We gotta protect our village. We don't got Cody or Master Mubaru to protect us no more. We gotta protect the village ourselves now. We gotta kill it. We can do it if we work together. It's just one monster. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, yeah. Huh? Come on, guys. Nobody's gonna kill this thing for us. Somebody give me a weapon. I want to protect the village, too. They've attacked us for the last time. At long last, you can... No. Wait, that's... Master Mabaru. Hmm. I really hope they don't kill Master Mabaru. But they probably will. Um, but it looks like this one's just some story scene in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a break here. Next time we'll finish off Crest's side story, which I'm thinking is the end. I don't know. There could be more. Um, but as always, thanks for watching. Until next time.